Studying brain development is among the most exciting but also challenging tasks in modern biology. Understanding brain development not only helps us to understand what makes us human, but also what makes us sick in case of severe neurodevelopmental diseases. Brain development has traditionally been studied in animal models such as fruit fly. One key advantage of fruit flies has been that we can perform large-scale loss of function screens. This means that we can eliminate hundreds of candidate genes in one experiment and study every gene and its contribution to brain development. Now, of course, we cannot perform experiments in humans. Therefore, human-specific aspects of brain development as well as diseases could not be studied very well. What can we do to circumvent this? Our lab had developed human tribal organoids, a cell culture model system making, mimicking human brain development in a dish. However, this only allows to study one gene at a time. We could not perform the beautiful systematic analysis of hundreds of genes as we can in the fly. So we set out to develop systematic loss of function screening in human cerebral organoids. To this end, we used CRISPR-Cas9 technology to inactivate genes and combine it with complex dual DNA barcoding technology. These DNA barcodes are used to gain extra information about the gene inactivation we perform. In detail, CRISPR-Cas9 requires two components. First, Cas9 protein cutting DNA expressed by cells in our system and second, gene targeting guidance is here depicted in the colors green and red. The first additional barcode information is introduced together with the guidance at the beginning of the experiment. This allows to discriminate individual infection events and their lineage tracing of individual gene inactivation events. The second barcode is introduced towards the end of the experiment and labels each individual cell, allowing us to count exact cell numbers. We use the two barcodes to increase our sensitivity to a level that we can distinguish the effects of hundreds of genes on brain development, all in one experiment. We termed our approach CRISPR-LICHT, which stands for CRISPR lineage tracing at cellular resolution in heterogeneous tissue. We used CRISPR-LICHT to look into microcephaly, a severe neurodevelopmental disorder in which patients suffer from small brains. We used CRISPR-Leaf to test 173 microcephaly candidate genes and found 25 new ones. We were particularly interested in one gene, i.e. R3-IP1, because it seemed unre unrelated to other microcephaly genes. Indeed, we found that i 3 ip one knockout organoids are smaller, indicative of a microcephaly-like phenotype. We show that i 3 ip one controls an important function in the cell, namely the transport of other proteins in the cell's protein processing compartment, the endoplasmic reticulum. If i 3 ip one knockout uh, function is perturbed, the endoplasmic reticulum is stressed and proteins cannot be secreted properly, including extracellular matrix proteins, the glue that holds our tissue together. Reduced deposition of extracellular matrix proteins causes tissue integrity defects, resulting in fewer cells that are born and smaller brains, just like in microcephaly. So we used our CRISPR-Licht screening technology to identify a crucial role for protein processing in brain development. CRISPR-Licht will be useful to study other brain diseases as well as potentially other organoid systems, and we hope it will be broadly applied to study human development and disease.